So thank you so much to everyone's kind comments so far about my utility kitchen. This week I'm going to show you how I installed a joining strip for my corner unit. So keep on watching and I'll show you how I do it. So during my sink fitting video, Danny Asker left a comment saying, not sure why you didn't fit the joining strip straight away, now you've got to undo it again. Or is the worktop loose? And yes, you're quite right. And that's because the units are actually taller than the windowsill. And this was the only way we could get any worktop space. And next week I'll be showing you how I fitted the lip at the back and then covered up an awkward bit at the end. So I had just enough space to work with. Otherwise in a regular room, I would have fitted the long piece first and then worked my way around. And now I'm just familiarizing myself with which way it should go. And you'll notice this strip has a curved edge so it goes over the uncut worktop and then the flat edge faces the other way. So I'm just quickly measuring it. I believe all worktops should be 600 depth, correct me if I'm wrong. Or I found it easier just to use an off-cut piece, hold it against that and mark it with a pencil of where I needed to cut it. But something I really recommend is checking to see if the profiled edge matches your worktop because some of them are different. If that's the case, just push the trim out slightly if it's shy, mark it from behind with a pencil and then using a rasp or file, just rub it down till you get to the pencil line and then use sandpaper to smooth it out. Then you can mark at the back. But this one was perfect and I'm cutting it down with a hacksaw. I mean, it's a good idea to clamp it down to a surface as well so it doesn't move about. I'll leave all the links to everything that I'm using below. Next, I'm just double checking I've cut it down to the right length and it was fine. I'm just covering it up with masking tape just to prevent any mess. And now I'm applying a couple of beads of silicone because I don't want any water to trickle down here and then it seeps into the worktop and expands. And now I've got some paper down here as well as I didn't want it to drip on the shelves and I'm evenly distributing that with a gloved finger. So I'm happy with that, removing the masking tape and then placing my strip onto the cut end. And I press down with my fingers as well. And the strip also has some screw holes. And I'm making sure I pre-drill these before I add the screws in. So the masking tape goes on again, just in case I make a mess. And then I pull the unit back so it was right next to it to create a corner. And then for the last job to make sure it was going to stay in place, I needed to pre-drill holes while I was inside the corner cabinet because that's where the worktops overlap and then screw them together. And I also repeated that with the end panels that I'd placed in between the worktops as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you do anything differently or not, but I am very happy with the method that I chose. And I don't think it looks dated, especially with the silver goes with the rest of the, the handles and things. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.